Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I just want to share a tip or a trick with you and kind of go over some alternatives or options and the options is in regards to flashing your V BIOS where you're taking an AMD RX 5700 XT BIOS and you're flashing it onto a non XT model to gain that extra performance so to speak. Now what happens if you can't do that? So some people are able, especially the reference cards, are able to flash a XT to a non-XT and get that performance boost. Uh, we've seen it on many other channels out there, uh, hardware unboxed to, to name one. But what happens if you can't do that? Well, there's another option. But I will warn you, you need to do this at your own risk. What I'm going to go over with you is something that you can do whether or not you should do is up to you because you can uh, wind up increasing the thermals on your car which can reduce the life expectancy especially because it's going to be overvolting a non-XT model of the GPU. So let's, let's talk about specs or differences between the two first and then we'll kind of go from there. In my mind, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, in my mind the difference between the, the, the XT and the non-XT realistically is the compute units and streaming processors. Besides that, pretty much everything's the same, right? So same seven nanometer process, uh, same memory interface, memory bandwidth, the whole nine yards, it's exactly the same. Like I'm switching between the two pages and there's only a few things that actually change. Compute units on the XT is 40 as compared to 36 on the 5700, so we're down by four. Com uh, streaming processors, we drop from 2560 on the XT to 2304 but besides that texture units is one we drop from 160 to 144 everything else pretty much the same yes we lose um, half precision compute performance and single precision compute performance which um, I did test out anyways but you know because of the lack of the compute units uh, that's 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 where we're gonna get the hit streaming processors we're gonna get a hit regardless. So the hardware itself is not there, but you could utilize uh, this alternative method to, to the VBIOS to try to make up that performance, so to speak. But again, use this at your own risk. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and install the soft power play tables for the 5700 XT. This is going to allow me to extend the limits on the GPU. I'll have the link to it. I did a video on this not too long ago, but I have the link to it down below where you can download the zip folder. Is the, the site is in German, so you're gonna have to use translate uh, to whatever your local language is. But you download the zip folder, extract the files, and here the vanilla, that's the stock 5700 XT, and that's the one we're gonna install. All of these are more, uh, you know, even more power is basically, you know, you're extending that range, the overclocking capability, you're increasing the voltage, so on and so forth. But we're going to go for vanilla XT and kind of compare the performance. Um, I am unable to actually install a VBIOS because of the subsystem mis mismatch ID. And I'm not going to play with it, but somebody technically could use a hex editor or uh, a number of different tools to manipulate the, the VBIOS so that way they could flash an XT onto a non XT. But that's a lot of work, and if you're one that uh, doesn't know how to do that, or you're worried, or you don't want to, you know, risk bricking your card. Um, and yes, if you did brick your card, you can technically un undo it if you have another GPU in the same system, or maybe integrated graphics, and then flash it back to the stock. But is it worth it? That's that's the question you really want to ask yourself. So this is this one is a lot easier. There are some pitfalls and caveats, which we'll recap at the end of the video. But let me go ahead and get this power play table the stock one installed I'm gonna reboot the system and then we're gonna go over some performance numbers alright alright guys so we restarted the system and the soft uh, power play table for the RX 5700 XT has been applied to our non XT uh, just to show you something real quick so the base clock on the stock XT is 1605 game clock 1755 and boost clock of 1905 megahertz and if we look at MSI afterburner up here in the left hand corner we can see that the voltage went up from uh, 1.037 to 1.20 and the 
core clock went up from 1750 to 1989. And you don't have to do anything uh, flash into BIOS or VBIOS or anything like that. You just double click the registry of your choice, restart the system, and it automatically applies. Moving forward, I'm going to show you some performance slides, and then we'll come back and talk about maybe some pros, cons, or just my general thoughts about this alternative. Alright guys, so there you have it. Basically, the soft power play tables is an alternative that you can use if you are unable to flash the VBIOS of an XT onto your non-XT card. The alternative works better for me because one, I can't even flash the VBIOS, at least not yet. Now you might be able to. And so, what are the pros and cons of one or the other? Well, if you flash your VBIOS, then you don't have to worry about when a new driver comes out. You you got to reapply everything because when it, the soft power play table installed, every time I update the driver, I am going to have to reapply the soft power play table registry mod, which is not a big deal for me. It's a couple clicks, good to go. Hardware Unbox, uh, Steve had some issues with it with instability, but I haven't seen any issues. And I think he was using it more towards the opening stage of a new product. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I, I honestly can tell you I haven't had any issues. The con is, is yes, when you update the driver, you're going to have to reapply it. But you just download the driver, restart the machine, double click the profile you want to use, restart the machine once again, and then when you reload up, everything's going to be applied. Now, use it within reason and, you know, maybe down clock it a little bit, set whatever core clock, mem clock, and voltage you want that's the most stable and best for gaming. But it's a free tool, even the VBIOS is a free tool that you can utilize to get extra performance out of your non-XT model. I mean the ASRock Challenger, which is what I have, is one of the cheapest uh, open air coolers and while it may have some cons, the, the actual design of the card may have some cons, which I covered in a recent video, uh, which I may have linked at the end here, uh, I had to modify it. I had to add memory pads to the back, um, I had to uh, pl apply a better thermal paste, but I was able to get extra performance by applying this soft power play table registry mod to my card. So use it at reason. 
uh, you make the decision whether or not you want to use it. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, the prices of 5700 XT is, is climbing up. The reference card is still around $400. Uh, blower style cards, $400. Open air cards are starting to hit $410. Uh, Sapphire Pulse is actually one of my favorites. I would recommend that. The Gigabyte card is pretty good. Um, the power color is pretty good. But if you look at these prices, you know, we're, we're ranging anywhere from $410 all the way to $480. ASRock uh, 5700 XT Tai Chi, which uh, Gamers Nexus did a recent review on and uh, talked about an expensive card. And when you're, when you're approaching that price bracket, you, you need to ask yourself, should I just go ahead and get the 2070 Super? It's going to get me better performance and it's around the same price. I don't know. That's, that's a different story for a different day. But I wanted to share my information with you guys. Hopefully this helps you out. If you are unable to update the VBIOS of your card, then the soft power play table could be an option for you. Uh, yes, you have to do some extra steps, uh, especially after every time you update the drivers. But for me, free performance, can't beat it. Do me a favor, guys. If you got any useful information out of this video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more content coming up. I appreciate you stopping by, as always, and I'll catch you guys next one. Yeah. <laughs>